Hey everybody, this is Aaron Whitehead. Welcome to Learn to Play the Piano. This is lesson 19 in a series of short lessons. In this video, we'll focus on using chords in the context of a popular song. In our last lesson, you may remember we were focusing on the chords E minor, C, G, D. And we played through many variations on using these chords in these different inversions. Now, some of you may recognize the song playing in the background. That song is called The Anthem, and it's done by a friend of mine, Jake Hamilton. And the chords used throughout this song are E minor, C, G, D. So using the information covered in the last few lessons, you'd be able to use that chord progression to play this song. And to find that song, as well as many others done by Jake and a whole gamut of extremely talented musicians, you can visit his website, jakehamiltonmusic.com. Now we're going to take some of the things we learned in the last lesson and apply them to another popular song. And the song we're going to use is Amazing Grace. The chord progression for Amazing Grace is F, B flat, F, C. Now let's take a look at how we're going to play through those chords with each hand. First, in our left hand, we're going to use our pointer finger, number two, to play the note F. In our right hand, using one, two, and four, or thumb, pointer, and ring finger, we're going to play the F chord. From there to play the B flat chord, our thumb in our left hand is going to reach up to play the B flat. And in our right hand, our thumb is going to slide up to the D. The second finger, pointer finger, is already on F. And our five, our pinky, should be right next to the B flat already, which will give us the B flat chord. From there, we're going to slide back down to the F, just like before. And from the F chord, we go to a C chord. Notice that in our left hand, our pinky plays the low C. And in our right hand, our thumb stays on C, and our 2 and our 4 drop from F and A down to E and G. And this gives us our C chord. And from the C chord, we would go back to the F chord like before. Now, before you try adding any rhythm to this progression, it would be important for you to be able to make sure you can change from each chord to the next chord all the way through the progression, like this. Once you're comfortable with those changes, then you're ready to progress to something more difficult. So what we're going to do to make this a little more interesting is in our left hand, we're going to hold the bass note throughout the entire chord, like this. Then in our right hand, we're going to rock the chord from top to bottom, like this. Now the song Amazing Grace is in 3-4, so we're going to play three beats on each chord, like this. And now we're ready to put it all together. Pay careful attention to when the chords change, as sometimes they're held longer or shorter than one full measure. But when it all comes together, it's going to sound like this. Um. And we hope you enjoyed lesson number 19. And if you did, you might also enjoy our book, which is now available on Amazon or our website, thepianochordbook.com. We also have an interactive app available with a lot of great information available on iTunes and Google Play. And please join us next time where we'll learn to play this song instrumentally using music notation. Thanks, God bless, and see you next time.